It was great to meet so many children from all over Ghana. We had fun. We talked about ourselves, our schools, our hopes for the future. We learned a lot. In Ghana here, it is said that uh, children are not to be heard or seen. So we must also be heard and then seen. That's also our right. As children, one thing has a special place in our lives. The kitchen is learning. Doing a way of ignorance. But you have no computer to improve our education. What can we do to improve our education? Yeah, bear yeah, then I am okay. It's not all the teachers who are friendly to the students. Some teachers will come to the class, then they will squeeze their face to the children while they are teaching. Yes, they are not friendly. If they are teaching you and they will not understand. The teacher must teach you again mm -hmm. to understand it. You should not beat you. Eh? Yes. yes. If you beat them too much, they are not even afraid of the king. They shouldn't punish them. They should talk to us. Yes. Talk to us to understand. Play the road. Spoil the child. The teachers take this, uh, this particular saying to take advantage of those they hate in the classroom. Even whether they are correct or wrong, they start caning them and they, you see that the students, they become discouraged and there are some students, if you cane them, they become discouraged. Maybe they wanted to say something, but because you like caning, anytime they have an idea, they will hide it, they don't like to bring it out. If you do mis a mistake, they must tell you to stop what you are doing or if you do some wrong they just tell you to do your question. But some teachers, they will just, just take their cane and beat you anyhow how they like it. And then they will tell you that do your question. And if you do your question, you get it wrong, you will be beaten. They can punish you, but not for yeah, well, too had... bad punishment. Yes. They can allow you to scrub the toilet or clean the classroom, so punish you to sweep the, the whole class for one week. Mm -hmm. But not like caning you with wula and all those things. Mm -hmm. It's very bad. Ababa away, Sniadio, what the Mary Massem is when he said, We need to sell him where things. And I bear for the bed, I don't want to to say, Glad is asthma. How are you? Could we never break to make a summer ma and up at the same time? The ladies, they will say they will not allow them to go to school, but they will let them stay in the kitchen to cook for them to eat, which is very, very bad. If they try to go to school, they become discouraged that they don't have uniform, they don't have this and that, so they don't want to go to school. Learning is important to us. At school, however, one area is not working well. You have to pay 50,000 yes. or 100,000. Yes. 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 Vacation classes too. You are going to pay 50,000 or 100. But the Saturday classes, it's only 1,000 or 2,000 that you pay for the teacher. They will say you pay 40 pesos for your feeding food. 10 pesos for your classes, extra classes. If you go to the don't teach well. They just teach about two or three topics. Then they say that we should go for So they are cheating us. After talking, 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 we came up with one important recommendation. The government should cancel PTA fees and classes fees. It is more expensive than the school fees. We all felt one area was special. Nowadays, you see many children working on the streets, looking for money, friends, and this also leads to what? Constitution. Sometimes the parents may be very very poor and they can't sell uh, they can't take the child to school so they have to take her into child trafficking she's selling the order mm -hmm. from morning to evening every day she doesn't go to school no how old is she 30. Mm -hmm. is she staying with her parents yes. as we played and talked we realized there were many issues outside the school that affected our education and health take for example Water is everything. When you have to take your bath, you have to use water washing, you have to use water cleaning your utensils, you have to everything is 
It's all about water. In my community in Savilugu, they don't have pipe bomb water. So when they go to the rivers to fetch water, others will be urinating inside, some will be washing, others bathing inside. And when they fed the water home, they use it to cook. When you wake up and there's no water in the house, it's up to you to go or travel to a long distance just to find yourself some water before you start everything you are supposed to do. When you are in need of water and there is no water in the school, you must walk a long distance to get water. Our place, there, is a, there are rivers there and the ways we pass to the borehole, they are not good. So when it's rainy season, they can't pass through the water to fetch water for their various houses. We divided into groups to discuss. Some came back to act out what they had discussed. It was really exciting to learn about things in a different way. We all enjoyed it. When they had to blow their nose, instead of them to wash their hands with soap, they will use it to wrap their dresses. Their dresses too, they are not neat. So the students, when the students come and eat, you see that they will be getting diseases day after day. After visiting the toilet, they eat without washing with soap. This brings about cholera. This thing here shows us that we must always wash our hands before taking in our meals. See this boy over here? See? <laughs> he's enjoying what he's doing. <laughs> so we must all <laughs> we must all do well to take good care of our things and promote good sanitation. Thank you. I suggest waste bins should be provided, especially in the market. Because when you go to the market and buy something, after using it, you throw it away because there are not waste bins there. This group has been talking for a while. What are they talking about? We have a slogan which says, Health, healthy together will move the nation forward. The children, they, they are not healthy, they are not energetic, they, are, they always have some sickness worrying them. When they have to sneeze, they don't turn. They just sneeze into their food. Oh yes, the big surprise. Do you know that the president is coming? <laughs> yes, I know the president is coming. Mm -hmm. The president says that if he comes, lay all your problems upon him. You need computers. You need computers? Yes. We also want a library. Our plain compound is not good. It's full of stones. One of us acted as president and we put some questions to him. The president came. Good evening, people of the Republic of Ghana. Any of you can start the ball rolling. Tucking, 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 tucking. You don't have to put that in the house. What you need? There are people who don't have a place to sleep and they are from rural areas to find a job, but they don't get a job to do. What are you going to do about rural urban migration? What measures are you putting in place to improve agriculture in this country? National health insurance. The amount collected is very high. Always it keeps increasing. So our parents can't register us. So what do you do about that? We met, had fun, and learned a lot. We also talked about the things that concern us as children. Please, listen to what we have to say. You can help us grow up to realize our dreams. I saw my friend come. Weren't you there? Yes, I was there. All I want to say, Father, to love me. All I want to say, Mother, to take good care of me. I don't want clothes, I don't want shoes, I don't want dials, I don't want money. All I want to say, happy family. <laughs>